Hi folks, welcome to RVX. I'm Chris Saito with RV Pro Magazine. And I'm here with John Foster, who's the parts manager for Motorsportsland RV. And we're here at the RVX aftermarket experience where 23 manufacturers have combined for 77 new products to help pimp out your camping experience. So let's take a look at some of these great products and we'll take a tour through the campsite as well as the vehicle behind us, the Crossroads Volante. Very good. Kind of show you guys what we have set up here. We have our Kuma chairs, anywhere from just a single chair to a fold up to a love seat. Um, also, right over here, we have a fold up table that has a um, pad that has a blanket that you can lay out on the grass and it won't allow the moisture to soak through. This is a great option to save some space for a nice table. Okay, we also have this nice fire pit by Suburban. Uh, it's a Voyager fire pit that gives it a great um, ambiance in the fire ground when, you know, when it's a little bit harder to actually have an open fire for you. Okay, next thing we got here is our Freerion E-Pot. Okay, this guy is a battery operated uh, portable unit that gives you a couple of USB ports. So when you're on the go, you have this. It's super lightweight and it can go in any vehicle. You've got the iceless cooler right below it. Okay, the cool thing about this is that it's a... 1.3 cubic foot iceless cooler, okay, it'll hold up to just about 50 cans. The other thing is, is you pull the cell right out of the e-pod and it drops right into the iceless cooler and it lights up. It has a bunch of USB ports right here on top of it. The other cool thing about it is that it has a phone charger right here on the lid. So you can actually just throw your phone down onto it and it charges away. So. Right over here, Chris will talk to you about this Norcold. So right here we have the Norcold portable refriger, re refrigerator freezer. Um, it's a great product to have about. You plug it in, keeps everything cold, even your, uh, all your cold meats, your cold beers, whatever you need. <laughs> awesome, next thing we have over here on is the Moride pin box, okay? This actually has a uh, pad in it to help reduce the bucking and chucking, okay? Right here along the bottom with it is the new pull right um, options for fifth wheel hitches. Okay, this guy can actually be mounted or you can come in onto the hitch at any angle. Why we put it like this so you can see that it doesn't matter if you're straight on, it'll drop right into it. This also gives you another option as far as if you have rails in your bed or just a single ball. We have the options from pull right to give you that. Okay. Next thing we have over here is the uh, BAL tripod, okay? This is the full timer. It's lightweight, it's made by aluminum, okay? It hooks up right to your uh, pin box, folds up. It doesn't matter if you have level ground or uneven ground, these ratchets will help you uh, get to any level to support that trailer, okay? Let me check underneath. What do we got under here, John? Okay, under here we've got our Furion, um, Lithium batteries, okay? This is the first ones that have come out on the market as far as uh, Furions come. Um, they're 100 amp hour batteries. The cool thing is that you get a full 100 amp power, okay? Normal deep cycle batteries, you don't get that, okay? This coach is uh, set up with four of them in here. So you got a lot of power in this unit, okay? If you look back here, it's also set up with the IC Go Power 3000 watt inverter. Okay, the cool thing about this is it also is a charger to it. It's a smart unit. It sheds power when it needs to, and it also will boost up your uh, batteries when you need it. So All right. we'll go back over to Chris. If you come back over here, we have some of our cool new tech products. We have the Wally Dish Receiver. It's the first pay-as-you-go, pay-as-you-play-and-watch uh, receiver. And then we have the WideGuard 2.0 Playmaker Portable and then the stand that goes with it so you can keep it up off of the ground. Here we have a 200 watt portable solar kit system uh, made by GoPower. And then up here you can see up on the roof, we've taken it down here so you can actually see it. We have a 760 watt solar AE4 kit by GoPower plus the WineGuard Connect 2.0 satellite and then the Max Air Mini Vent Deluxe that keeps things cool while you're in your coach. Very cool. Next thing that we want to show you guys is a couple things from Camco. They've got these nice little pop-up bags that's great for trash, towels, laundry, whatever you need right there at your campsite. They also have the bamboo table, also folds up, real slim, can fit behind the truck in any compartment. Okay. You also have the 
uh, suburban griddle. This is 11,000 BTUs of grilling power. Okay, it's super easy. It's nice, compact, so it'll store in any unit or any compartment. But the cleanup is so easy to do. Okay. As we come over here, now we're going to enjoy what's underneath the awning. All right, we got the awning mat uh, made by Carefree. Okay, we have the easy blocker from Carefree as well. This is a nice addition, so when the sun's just pounding you in the face, you just slide this right onto the awning tube and super install. Yeah, blocks out 85% of sunshine. Very cool. If you take a look up here, you've got these uh, Carefree awning arms. The cool thing about these is that they're Bluetooth. You control it by your cell phone. I mean, everybody's carrying around their cell phones nowadays, so why not enjoy that feature? So over here, you have the step above more ride steps. No more stepping into your trailer and feeling it wobble side to side. These are secure steps. Where the steps used to be placed, the step storage box, you can put in storage items in there. And then to help you get into the coach, you have Lend a Hand by Stromberg Carlson. Just helps you come right in. But before we go in, and see Chris, we're going to talk about this door, not, uh, door latch right here. It's made by AP Products. It's an electronic door latch, so you don't have to remember your keys all the time. You have a set code that you can set. It's not a predetermined by the factory. You can set your code, and it allows you to uh, not need your keys every second of the day. Okay. Also, on this door, you also have what's called the thin shade. Okay. This is a, a product that allows you to see through it with clear glass. The original glass that's on most of the coaches is an opaque glass, so you can't see who's coming up to the door. This one is actually a clear through, or a see through, sorry. Uh, but also, when you want the privacy, you just grab the thin shade and slide it down, and it blocks out all the sun and whoever you don't want peeping in on you. Okay, we entered the coach. All right. As you look here, I got this big old wall full of stuff. All right, this is our control panel. This is your in-command system. It's your leveling system. It's what it's the brains of the of the unit. Okay, you also have your surge guard. We're going to get to that in just a second. It's actually on the back of this unit, but the surge guard is Bluetooth. So, if you're having a problem with power, this is going to tell you when you're in your park uh, campground at the pedestal. This is going to tell you if you have a problem or not. All right, and Chris talked about the solar power that's up on the roof. Okay, this controller is going to tell you exactly what's going on with those solar panels. How many watts, how many volts, what you're drawing, and so forth in a nice, easy read display. Next one on top of it is the IC um, inverter control panel. Okay, this is actually where you turn your controller on, or your inverter on and off. Also, it'll tell you what it's using, how many amps it's drawing and so forth. So everything that you need is just right here along the wall. So we're going to turn the time over to Chris. He's going to show us a couple more features here inside the unit. All right. So again, back to the tech products. We have a 40 inch LED TV from Jensen along with a Jensen wall mount stereo. Again, as I pointed out outside, we have the dish Wally receiver. Pay as you go. Whatever you watch, that's how you pay it. If you come back here into the kitchen, we have the Remco AquaJet water filtration system. And up here, we have the Obico Pet Bowl Kits. About 70% of RVers travel with their pets, so it's a great way to keep that stuff stored. And then another organizer for whatever pens, papers, whatever you want. Over here near the faucet, we have the Akuva Ego UV LED water filtration system. It's a purification system. It's the top of the line. It doesn't use any sort of filters. It uses UV LED light to purify your water. Down here on the ground, we have a Stromberg Carlson rated for 1,000 pounds because it's one piece of steel so that when you're trying to reach up in your RV, get to shelving space up here, it allows you to do so. Uh, again, under here is where the Remco uh, PowerJet water, um, water, fresh water, excuse me, pump is located. We put the box up there so you can see it easier. Okay, real quick before we move on, we also wanted to make a mention of the Furion cameras that is located around this unit. It's a 360 degree viewing option. You have them, you replace your side markers with cameras and you can also put one over the entry door so you can see actually who's coming up the door before they actually even knock on it. Okay. Over here, you have the Norcold Polar Series 10DC RV refrigerator. 
keeps things cold. That way you don't have to keep going back to the shop. It allows you to put as much storage as you want in there. And then over here on this side with John, we have the Camco wine tumbler set. It's always best when you are camping to have sort of your own plate set that you can tub up and take with you and put in the back of your RV ready to go so you don't have to be pulling your own bowls and stuff out of your own kitchen set. This comes apart, becomes sort of a Moscow mm. mule mug right there yeah. for the ladies. If they like, put their white wine in there. There you go. Okay. As we head back into the back room here, uh, one big thing that I really want to mention is for those that have small kids or the units that have the bunks in them, this is something by Obico that kind of as a, a dealership, we've been looking for these for quite some time. These guys actually just mount right into the roof of the slide out or wherever your um, bunks are, but it allows you to keep your kids safe so they don't roll out. This is quite the fall for a, a, a small child. So Obico did a great job on putting that in the aftermarket. Okay. Next thing also we want to talk about is another Jensen 12 volt can or uh, sorry TV um, that they have. They have different models, different styles that'll allow you to upgrade your unit in the 12 volt fashion. Behind the door right there, we have some more Obico mountable laundry bags, 18 by 18 inches. Allows you to keep your laundry off the floor and allows you to keep those things for when you're ready to do some laundry. And we'll talk more about that in a minute. Okay, so next thing we also want to talk about is actually one thing before we leave, right above the cameraman, is we actually have a Max Air fan that is a sealed unit, so it actually doesn't raise up and down. So you can actually use that as you're in travel, or once you get down and it starts raining, there's no need to come back in and actually close it on it, okay? So next thing that I want to talk about as we hit this section, I know this is the most wonderful spot about it, is the... <laughs> Thetford residential residence toilet okay uh, they've been graceful enough to donate this into this unit uh, it's great it has the foot flush to it the ball valve it's just there's not much else to say about it but it's a great toilet okay as we come out I want to mention again the more right steps they're great steps they have none of that bouncing uh, springboard action on them so let's take a look at the back of the coach we got some items on the bumper over here. So, we have the Strongberg Carlson mounted bike carrier. That'll allow you to take your bikes on the back of the vehicle. You don't have to put them on the through storage. And then underneath, where you can't really see is a hitch mount. That way you're able to take this and hitch it right into the frame. Uh, over here, we have the surge guard protector that John mentioned earlier. The unit that he was pointing to earlier inside allows you to monitor at the pedestal anything that is going on, surges and so forth. And looking at that monitor, you don't even have to step out of your coach at night and go over to the pedestal to see if you have a problem. It shows up right on the Bluetooth dongle. Very good. Real quick, before we take off, if you can take a look down here, they have the Power C uh, leveling jacks made by BAL. Okay. It's a leveling system that you don't need to crank down anymore. It's an aftermarket switch. It'll level your system. Uh, they call it the Power C. Also, if you notice, this bar right here, this is called the lock arm by BAL as well. What that does is it's a really crucial point. If you're feeling that, that rocking motion in your trailer when you're going front to back, that will actually sure up your trailer so you don't get that rocking motion. If somebody's up in the front or somebody's in the back and you're walking front to back, that really helps eliminate all of that movement. One thing, John, I almost forgot about this, oh, yeah. but I wanted to point out there to one of the Furion S observation cameras. It gives you a 360 degree view of your coach. There's two side mounted cameras and that one. And when you hit that touchpad, it allows you to change angle views and you can see what's going on around your coach. All right, as we continue on along this side of the trailer here is um, couple other things, the best part about uh, camping in a fifth wheel or a trailer or something like that, you got this guy here made by uh, Thetford. It's the SantaCon. It's a macerator. Um, it allows you to pump a 40-gallon tank in 50 seconds, okay? The hose will stretch out to 20 feet, okay? This thing is amazing. 
You don't have to worry about any clogs or anything like that. This takes care of it for you, okay? While we're right here as, as well, is you have the snap pads. These snap pads were designed for those that needed a little bit extra um, pad on like the concrete and stuff like that. The cool thing about these is that once you snap them onto the foot, they don't come off. You actually can travel with them on, uh, on the foot, okay? So as you stay there, we're actually gonna just turn this side. We have the in-command tire pressure system, all right? What that does is it's going to allow you to know what your tires are before you get a blowout. We know one of the most uh, costly repairs is a tire blowout. So this is gonna allow you to know that before it happens. It, te it tells you the temperature and the pressure, okay? One last thing made by BAL, okay, is their x chocks. These things are phenomenal. What they do is they allow you to ratchet them in between the two tires. It keeps the unit stable but also it also secures it because you can put a lock in there and so nobody can really hitch up to your trailer and drive away with it. So, not a great option for you. Thanks, John. Over here, we have the Camco 20-foot Sidewinder hose that allows you to empty your tank. Not only comes with a 20-foot hose, but also separately, you can have a hose support system to keep it off the ground getting dirty. Over here, we have the Suburban Nautilus RL Instant Water Heater. Allows you to have hot water within your coach. And then, John, I'm going to allow you to talk about some of the BAL products in here and then as well as the MEC regulator combination hose. Okay, forgive me. I'm just going to kind of walk over here for it. Uh, this is the BAL leveling system. Okay, what this does is it has all the control panels just right here. So there's no more walking around. It's a touch screen. It's super easy to use. It'll tell you everything that you need to do or where you need to go with that guy. Also, the MEC is a great product for your propane. Okay, it's a high pressure, so you're gonna get that LP um, flame in your stove and stuff like that at higher altitudes, and it's a great regulator that helps you um, enjoy your water heater, your furnaces, and stuff like that without low pressure. This is another camera that we wanted to point out to you that Chris mentioned, is this is a, the marker light camera that allows you to see that 360 degrees. I think Furion did a great job on innovation with this little guy because you already have marker lights, you might as well use them, okay? Thanks, John. As we swing around over here, I wanted to point out, Kuma does outdoor lawn games as well. We have cornhole here. They also do a bocce ball set and ladder ball as well. If we go back here to sort of our Vista section, we have the Pinnacle Super Washer Dryer Combo uh, that is available as well as a Super Ride fifth wheel hitch from Blue Ox, the AquaGo by Truma, another instant water heater, and then up here, similar to the other locks that we pointed out earlier, is by Global Ultra M Pro Electric Locks. So right now we're just gonna take some questions and uh, see what the folks have to say to us. So, does the cooler have a 120 volt outlet? Chris uh, from Utah. If he's talking about the Furion, Furion one, no, unfortunately it does not, but it does have uh, USB ports. Um, that's one thing that uh, it would be actually really cool if it had a 120 volt on that. So, unfortunately yep. this model does not, maybe in the later days it will. All right, next question from Kevin Owens. What will, the solar, uh, what will the solar kit power do? Can it charge those lithium batteries you showed before? Yes, yes, that's the cool thing about the lithium batteries that they have a smart charger inside the lithium battery so it'll take power from whatever source that you're trying to give it. Okay, it'll take power from shore power, from generator, or as we said, solar. So yeah, these uh, batteries will take it from whatever source you need it to. Excellent. Is the 360 camera system that we pointed out about Furion, is that linked to the dash at all? You know, as far as I know, this model isn't. Um, it has a portable 7-inch screen that you can add to your, uh, in your truck, but I do believe that this uh, particular one is not capable of putting it underneath the dash and putting it in through the navigation system. So. Okay, excellent. Thanks, John. Yeah. And then finally, one more question. What is the surge guard protector rated for? Um, those are rated for, I mean, if it gets struck by lightning, I don't think it'll do that. But at the same time, it, it does something like 13,000 joules or something like that. If you know how to measure the, the joules, 
then I think that's what it's rated for. Um, it's a it's a 50 amp unit, but um, it'll 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 protect you from any like branches that fall over and shorts out. But the biggest thing about those is it'll also protect you from brownouts. So if you've got a nice little coach here and you've got a big motorhome that pulls in, all these pedestals are linked to the same circuit. So if you got a a motorhome that pulls in and it starts pulling all your power and all your motors start going like this with the voltage, mm -hmm. it'll turn itself off at 90 volts, okay? So it doesn't ruin your furnace motors or your AC mm -hmm. motors. And then once it gets back to a safe level, it'll actually turn back on. You might have to restart some stuff, but it'll actually save the motor so it doesn't burn them out. Yeah, that's one of the most important products. I can't believe how many people don't have that type of a product when they're going camping because you spend a lot of money on all yeah. these great products that we've described as well as the the coach itself and then to have it ruined by a surge electrical storm the pedestals at the campgrounds aren't always the safest no um <laughs> you know some of them have not been updated since the eisenhower administration a lot of campgrounds are <laughs> behind so to have a product like that to protect your your goods is 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 a good thing to have now this was uh, this project, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, was a combination of 23 suppliers, 77 aftermarket products. John, what what got you involved well, what, in this endeavor? Well, what got us involved is Motorsportsland helped to we kind of helped bring in the unit for everybody to put this um, all these aftermarket stuff on. We needed a platform to put all this wonderful stuff that you can purchase on the aftermarket. Um, in the market aftermarket industry, sorry about that. Um, but so they needed a platform, so Motorsportsland stepped up and said, "We'll donate the trailer, and then we can do this on." Okay, for me, it's great because at the store we carry all these products. So everything that we showed you today, you can come down to our store on 4001 South State and pick it up. Or if you need to, you can get some more information from our knowledgeable staff. We're happy to help, and we're always there. Thank so, you, John. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. This has been a, a great project to work on. I want to give a shout out to Brad Giggy from Crossroads, uh, who helped uh, deliver the coach out here from Indiana, and, uh, and to the folks who worked on it, the suppliers, the products that were donated and, and given, and the sponsorships that were raised for this project. It's something that we definitely look forward to yeah. doing again at next year's <laughs> RVX, and you can come see us in San Antonio.